Hello guys, so we are here on the bus to try to see if we can try to protection and a fatal I'm very sure that all of us know what's happening in Nigeria. I'm not going to buy Lagos. So, so I'll be showing you some things that the children learned today as well. Okay, so what's happening? Okay. 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 You protect yourself. Chad. <laughs> Self defense, eh? Nice one. Nice one. How many one wants to? That number. You know it. So, which number is that? At what time do you call it? Guys, I'm really proud of you as a student of Akpata. I'm really proud because I know you know what I'm coming here to say, but I'm just here to enforce it. Meaning, if you're home alone, mommy is not around, daddy is not around, and you have no credit, you can call that number. But you must be able to tell your address, you must be able to say the color of your house. And what is happening? Meaning, if somebody is knocking at the door, see, I want to tell you something that's very practical today. If mommy is not home, and dad is not home, and you are home with somebody, your brother or sister, and mommy and dad have not told you that somebody is coming. coming, it could be your uncle, it could be your mommy's brother, it could be daddy's sister, and you know them, you must be able to call. Mommy, to confirm, should I allow them to enter? It's not disrespectful. It's not being disrespectful. It's being security conscious. So before you excuse me, before you open the door for anybody, you must do what? You must check. You must know whether mommy and daddy is expecting that person. Yes. Rest of you. Yeah. Go ahead. You don't open that door for them. You don't open that door. Because mommy and daddy didn't tell you that they are coming. And you tell that uncle by the door, please can you call mommy? I want to speak with mommy to know whether we are expecting you. Do you know why? Children, I don't want to tell you. Okay, let me tell you the reason. The reason I'm coming, let's take it one by one. The reason is that today, it is people that are close to you, not even the stranger, that will take you away. Children, I'm not trying to make you afraid. No, but I want to tell you the way. Hey, it is your mommy's brother. It is your daddy's brother. Those that know your daddy, that your daddy knows that they are coming, that they are coming to take you away. And to avoid that, you must talk to your mommy every time. So that reminds me right now, we have um, one of us here, we call her Opsi Mama on radio. You must tell mommy and daddy that you are giving a gift. No matter how small the gift is, especially for you, boy and girls. Say that your Uncle Richard said that. So it's very, very important for us to know who is a bad stranger and who is a good stranger. Then in case something happens, where do you run to? We call it self heaven. We are going to come to that. Let Auntie Patient continue. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Is that play now? Also, we need to always remember that. Now, another safety uh, measure that we must take as children is we must keep away from fire and sharp objects. objects. And sharp oh, objects. Okay. Now let me give, let me let me give, let me tell you a little story. Something that happened. I I walked into a classroom. I wasn't to do that. I went to do something. Then I noticed that a child went to the toilet and forgot a pencil. So this is what she did. Let me show you. So she inserted the pencil like this on the, the door um, handle. The pencil was in and this was out. Now, if someone had probably run into it, what would have happened? Yes, I'm very 
really sure because of course I never found the girls that did. She was just, you know, she wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't intentional. She was just playing. She wanted to go into the bathroom. She just kept her pencil there. Went in, came out and forgot. But I thought I would have just go over there, ran into it and, you know, this would be so dangerous. So we need to be very careful and we need to be safety conscious. Now, for you, maybe you're just coming to that toilet, you don't know there is something there. What do you have to do? You need to be observant about your environment. About your word, environment. Sometimes when we have, you know, um, the floor being mopped, we have some places being clean, you have some signage, wet floor keep up, wet floor keep up. Sometimes you don't see so, those signage, but you need to be careful. You need to be able to see, okay, this floor is wet, I don't have to run. And I don't have to go all the way sliding. I don't want to love to slide, right? Yes. yes but yes, I don't have to go all the way. You don't have to go all the way sliding. You need to be safety conscious. And be what? Yes. How many of you your parents don't understand? <laughs> okay. When I, when I mean your friends, I'm not just saying your classmates. I mean your friends, friends from school, friends from church, friends from Mark. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Okay. So make sure you always tell your, your parents about your friends. It is very important. But I know sometimes uh, some parents allow their children to have what we call a play date. Now a play date is when you bring your friends home. Your friends come to your to your house with their parents and you and come and do it. Yes, play. You can play together. You can bake together. You can do some cooking together.